with 3D video walls, multi-screen displays are very easy to build. You can of course use one of the supply presets, but here we're going to build one from scratch. First of all, put a clip on the timeline. Then add one of the plugins. Here we'll use the basic square with no animation. If we look in the inspector, you can see it's the letter A. So just add another one and maybe one more for a row of three. Adjusting the shape size adjusts all the boxes together. Let's go one stage further and add a second row. Back to the inspector and add a second row of A's. Then move the wall back into the center. As you can see, we need to enlarge the video on the face of the boxes to cover them all and move it down in the y-axis to get the correct position. Two things we need to adjust here as all the boxes are flush with each other. Adjusting the tracking will spread the boxes out on the x-axis. By putting the cursor on the end of the top line of A's, adjusting the line spacing will allow you to gap the rows to the same distance. If the video on the face looks a bit wonky and doesn't line up, just re-enter the letters in the inspector. All that's left to do is add an animation and there you have a 3D multi-screen video wall.